ವಾಗರ್ಥ ಸಂಪೃಕ್ತೌ ವಾಗರ್ಥ ಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತೆಯೇ ಜಗತ ಪಿತರೌ ಒಂದೇ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಾಮಸ ಇಂದೋಹೋ ಇವ ಗ್ರಹ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಕೇತು ಅಂಡ್ ಸಾರಿ ರಾಹು ಅಂಡ್ ಲೂನಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಕೇತು ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಪುರಾಣ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ರಾಹು ಅಂಡ್ ಕೇತು ಇಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಟುಕ್ ದ ಮೋಹಿನಿ ಅವತಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೀ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ ದಿ ಅಸುರ ಇನ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹೀ ಕುಡ್ ಹೀ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡ್ರಾಂಕ್ ಅಮೃತಂ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ಅಮೃತಂ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬೈ ಅನ್ ಅಸುರ ಸೊ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಕಿಲ್ ದಟ್ ಅಸುರ ವೆನ್ ಹೀ try to kill it was already inside him so both parts they, they he split that asura into half head was separate and body was separate now because the amritam had already gone into him he is still amara <clears throat> in the sense he is so he became a uh, 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 someone immortal that is both of them both of the parts became someone immortal now only head is rahu and the body is ketu what is the idea of graha graham uh, uh, scientific part is there is a shadow that falls and so eclipse happens that is fine but here the word that we use in sanskritam and uh, the puranic visualization of that uh, graha eclipse is such that something captures the sun or something captures the moon when the sun is captured it is a, a, a solar eclipse and when the moon is captured it is chandra grahana now what can swallow it is only the head part that can swallow the body part cannot swallow so when you look at it it is only rahu which can do the grahanam so it is only rahu in in its in a in a, the story wise when you look at it think of uh, the puranic visualization then only rahu which is the head which has a mouth only that can swallow the sun or the moon so the uh, uh, disconnected part of the body also is present in a manner however you want to explain it rahu and ketu are responsible for eclipse but grahanam tu raho ho eva bhavati or rahuna eva bhavati eti is that clear ha oh, is it it's very clear thank you super manya super <laughs> okay so we stopped with uh, panchavatyam tato ramah shasanat kumbha janmanah anapodha sthiti stastho vindhyadrihi prakrtau iva so a brahma then went to uh, panchavati by the orders of uh, agastya and he stayed there in his uh, uh, without uh, moving away from his dharma path just as how uh, uh, vindyadri um, stayed in its prakriti avastha because of agastya's vachanam <clears throat> we had that story last time also now shurpanakha's uh, episode starts from this shloka it goes for a couple of shlokas here ರಾವಣ ಅವರಜ ತತ್ರ ರಾಘವ ಮದನಾತುರ ಅಭಿಪೇದೆ ನಿಧಾಘಾರ್ತ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ಇವ ಮಲಯ ಧ್ರುಮ ರಾವಣ ಅವರಜ ತತ್ರ ರಾಘವ ಮದನಾತುರ ಅಭಿಪೇದೆ ನಿಧಾಘ ಆರ್ತ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ಇವ ಮಲಯ ಧ್ರುಮ ರಾವ ತತ್ರ ತತ್ರ ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತೆ ಪಂಚವಟ್ಯಾಂ ರಾವಣ ಅವರಜ ಮದನಾತುರ ರಾವಣ ಅವರಜ ರಾವಣಸ್ಯ ಅವರಜ ಅವರಜ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅವರಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಕಾಲೆ ಜಾತ ಜಾಯತೆ ಇತಿ ಅವರಜ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಸಕ್ಸೀಡಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ರಾವಣ ಕುಂಭಕರ್ಣ ವಿಭೀಷಣ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಶೂರ್ಪನಖ ಸೊ ಶೂರ್ಪನಖ ಇಸ್ ದ ಯಂಗರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾವಣ ರಾವಣಸ್ಯ ಅವರಜ ತತ್ರ ಪಂಚವಟ್ಯಾಂ ಹೌ ವಾಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮದನ ಆತುರ ಮದನೇನ ಆತುರ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮದನ ಮನ್ಮಥ ಸೊ ಕಾಮಾತುರ ಶಿ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ರಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಫೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ಲವ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಶಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಲಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೊ ಅಭಿಪೇದೆ ಶಿ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ಡ್ ರಾಮ ರಾಘವಂ ಅಭಿಪೇದೆ ಶಿ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ಡ್ 
abhi is always usually used for abhimukham one who runs towards or goes towards uh, then you use abhi abhigachati abhipede this is in litlakara so uh, ravana avaraja madanatura ravana avaraja uh, suffering from manmatha lust uh, uh, ravana avaraja the sister of ravana she approached raghava <clears throat> raghava here rama how was how uh, the upama given here is just as a vyali a serpent a female serpent which is suffering from nidagha nidagha is heat ushnam summer so during summer when there is a lot of heat usually the uh, snakes cannot bear that heat they want to go and uh, 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 go into a, uh, a cooler place so they it's like uh, they don't they cannot stand the heat outside so that's why they go underground and if you remember in the earlier uh, i think third or fourth shloka we had bilamagna uh, iva uh, uragav they were inside and after grishma kala you have varsha rutu when the varsha rutu comes in and the water fills up the holes the snakes come out right so here it is grishma kale artha peedita vyali sarpini like a, a, a bhujangi a female serpent which is suffering from the heat what does it do it will go and wrap itself around a cool tree which is chandana drumam chandanam is supposed to be very cool uh, uh, and malaya druma here is actually malaya is a mountain and uh, malaya parvate bhavaha drumaha eva malaya drumaha chandana drumaha chandana taravaha Malaya mountain is supposed to be filled with the uh, uh, sandalwood trees it is in the western ghats so the kula parvatam it is a kula parvatam like himalayas it is another kula parvata so in the western ghats you find a lot of uh, these um, uh, sandalwood trees and sandalwood trees are supposed to be very cool a serpent there are two things one is the serpent can go to this chandana maram chandana tree because it is it is very it is suffering from heat and so it is in search of a cool place another thing is they also say that chandanam naturally the smell of uh, chandanam uh, is very attractive and so snakes usually stay in a uh, uh, very scented place like uh, malli you know jasmine they say you try not to grow jasmine in the house or uh, sandalwood tree in the house because there will be more snakes coming in for that scent it may not be true because they don't have the sense of it smell like it know. is true huh? true it then, is huh? true ah sorry <laughs> in it is there like in my home i, I have seen that ah uh, so usually jasmine or anything that has a very strong scent it attracts uh, snakes supposedly so here malayadrumam the the uh, kalidasa takes it to mean that chandanam is very cool and uh, if a serpent is suffering from that heat then it can naturally go to a cooler place so here the comparison is shurpanaka is suffering because of kama manmatha so manmatha avasthayam tu santapaha bhavati manasi there is a tapam that is there in the mind uh, and uh, it generates a heat because of uh, uh, what you feel inside is also physically manifested in the body uh, across kavyas you will find this reference of ಮದನಾತುರ ಅವರ ಕಾಮ ವಶಾತ್ ತತ್ರ ದಾಹ ವರ್ತತೆ ತಾಪ ವರ್ತತೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐದರ್ ದ ಹೀರೋ ಆರ್ ದ ಹೀರೋ ಇನ್ ಟು ಯು ನೋ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಕೂಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದೆನ್ ಆರ್ ಲೈ ಡೌನ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಲೀಫ್ ಬೆಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಹೀಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ರೈಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ Uh, so in the same way she is also feeling that lust in her and hence that tapam is there in her body that can go away only if the uh, person towards whom she feels that feeling can be attained that's why she runs towards raghava right so tatra panchavatyam madanatura kama atura ravana avaraja ravanasya bhagini shurpanakha nama rakshasi nidagartha nidagaha is grishma ushnam either the kalaha or the ushna both are correct so nidagha 
ग्रीष्म सन्ता व्याली इव भुजंगी इव मलयद्रुम चंदनद्रुम अभिपेदे प्राप शी रीच पंचवट्यांशूर्पणखा नाम काम राक्षसी काम यथा ग्रीष्म सन्ता भुजंगी चंदनद्रुम वृणोति वृणोति इज चूसिंग जस्ट इज हाउ ए सर्पेंट विच इज सफरिंग फ्रम ग्रीष्म कालम बै दीट ऑफ समर इट चूसेस ए सैंडल वु ट्री तथा राम अविंदत शी चोज राम शी वॉन्टेड राम Uh, I mean, usually, like you say in Kavya's, they do compare the state of the hero, the heroine, and they say they 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 grasp lotus stalks or lotus leaves mm. or karpuram or they've got so many things. But yeah, in this yeah. case, uh, he's made it such a way that uh, that it's kind of uh, showing the sliminess of pure uh, punaka. See, the thing is, it is not shingara rasa; it is shingara yeah. abhasa. yeah <laughs> rasa bhasa so uh-huh. the example he takes is also to give you that uh, rasa bhasa mm-hmm. what is ra- rasam versus rasa bhasa is such that see when you look at shringara rasam it is between mm-hmm. rama and sita where there is a mutual acceptance of that uh, love mm. it is rasa bhasa where it is one sided yeah uh-huh. don't take the tamil abhasam this is different rasa eva bhasate iti ishat bhasate that's all that is abhasa okay mm. so rasa bhasa in the sense that it is between two people who are not mutually attracted towards each other here mm. only shurpanaka falls in love with him whereas mm. he is not in love with her raghava is not in love with her right mm. so the uh, uh, the similar pur upama also he shows in the same manner mm-hmm. vyali wants chandanadrumam chandanadrumam does not want the bujangi yeah, yeah yeah it's amazing it's it's actually it's brilliant it's, it's amazing the, the immediately evokes the the, uh, the sense of what is the, this in it? yeah sense of revulsion in the reader immediately um, it invokes that sense of revulsion in the reader uh, come yeah. पर्वतम If it is a Kula Parvatam, it has a lot of peaks, and it's like a group family. Family of. So in the in the previous shloka, Mahode, I wanted to ask you that yeah. Anupama Sthiti. Why yeah. does the why does he highlight it like that? I mean, there's not much that I can gather from it. But uh, you mentioned it as if he he doesn't swerve from dharma. But is that how? Is that the intent of the poet? Like uh, Anupama Sthiti, Vindriya Dhrihi, Eva Nama. What exactly does Kalidasa want to say? ऋषि <laughs> doing what they wanted cleaning out the rakshasas etc so possibly what... and illana patti illa enna panitirundanga like he was happy with sita over there yeah he had no intention to move is that what he wants to highlight i i guess so you know i think he did not want to move away from this place because till then he was moving from place to place and ah. he realized that this is a good one the to good one. stay put yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or tent to order that kind of nice place. Ah, bring her. Madri. So probably. Yeah. Ah, so probably he would have stayed there all the way until the end of the fourteen years. If that. No, no, no. He, if so, given because Bravana yeah. came and took her only from that place. Yeah. Right, right. So uh, if that hadn't happened, he the intention would have been to just stay there. 
ಮಲಿನಾಥಿಂಕ್ರಿಂದ್ರಿಯಾದ್ರಿಂಟ್ Mm. He finds different different upamas and the yeah. the beauty of it is also very nice. Okay. Next one. Sa sita sannidhaveva tam vavre kathitan vaya atyarudho hinarina makalagnyo manobhava. Sa sita sannidho eva kathita anvaya tam vavre she asked him or she chose him vavre iti chet it's more like a, a, with an intent to marry or with an intent to be with him uh, uh, you ask someone then you use the word vavre vrunoti iti chet uh, atma atmarthe vrunoti iti so sita sannidho eva she didn't even care whether sita was there his wife was there present or not in the presence of sita itself so sita sannidho eva she told about her own uh, anvayam her family and everything kathita anvaya sa kathita anvaya uh, yaya sa the anvaya is her vamsha vamshavali she gave a self introduction about herself spoke in at lengths about herself who she was and all that and said i want to i want you as my uh, husband so kathita anvaya sa shurpanakha sita sannidho eva tam vavre tam raghavam vavre she chose or she asked uh, rama in the presence of sita itself after talking about her entire vamsham told him about it now the next line is an arthandra nyasa which justifies why she did this so one is she spoke about herself in the presence of sita and chose him even though he was a married man okay many reasons so, say rajano bahuvallabaha so uh, the kings can have many uh, uh, wives that's not an issue so she could also ask him and be uh, and uh, he could also accept her as one of his wives that is uh, that was one of the the norms that was there in that time period it was fine but then to ask uh, 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 for a want of better word shamelessly a man in the presence of his wife is something that anybody would not normally do lajjavati chet then she would never ask in the presence of someone else she would probably do it ekante when he is alone whereas she uh, asked him directly in the presence of everybody which means she had no uh, sense of time or and the ingitambo there was no sense of ingitam for her kalidasa justifies it by saying atyarudho hi narinam akalagnyo manobhavah narinam manobhavah ಅತ್ಯಾರೂಢ ಮನೋಭವ ಅಕಾಲಜ್ಞ ನಾರೀಣ ಮನೋಭವ ಮನೋಭವ ಕಾಮ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಲಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದಿ ಆಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವುಮೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅತ್ಯಾರೂಢ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಎ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ if it is gone into the state of an obsession then there is it does not know time that uh, uh, obsession does not know time place etc etc akalagnya kalam na janati iti samayam na janati which is the right time to approach when can you approach and ask can you ask in this manner there is a oru varamurai ingrumla and the matter oru varamuraiye illada oru oru nelakki kondu poidrathu it takes her to a point where she does not understand what kartavyam kartavyam na janati uchitah kalah vana va iti tadapi na janati so 
तथा भवती नारेण जेनरलाइज इट फॉर ऑल वुमेन हूज हू हैव सच एन ऑब्सेशन विच गोज बियॉन्ड वॉट इज नॉर्मल सी सो अत्यारूढ़ सा शूर्पनखा दिस इज कॉल्ड अर्थंतरन्यास अलंकार वेर यू देर आर टू वेज वन इज सान विशेष समर्थन और विशेषेण सामान्य समर्थन देर कैन बी टू वेज वन इज विशेषेण विशेष इज पर्टिकुलर यू आर हाईलाइटिंग अ पर्टिकुलर इंसिडेंट विच इज युअर प्रकृत सो टेक् टू थिंग्स वन इज प्रकृत contextual the other is non contextual aprakrita what is the context here shurpanaka asking uh, raghava in the presence of sita is your context that is your prakritam and we are talking about one particular individual shurpanaka so this is prakritam and vishesha this vishesha incident we are justifying it with a general incident which is not no kalidasa's work is not to talk about general women he is using a generality to justify the actions of a particular person called shurpanaka what is that generality that in general women when they have the uh, an excessive obsession then they do not understand the time they don't understand uh, place or akalagnya right manobhava the lust is does not know the proper time it is so blame the feeling not the people right so this is the justification that he does by pointing out in general what is the behavior among uh, uh, women so if you have to do the reverse um uh, if i am talking about great people let's say i am writing an essay about great people and i am talking about mahatmana shaila iva unna no what is that um kindushkaram mahatmana हनुमान अतरत किं दुष्क महात्म दिस इज एक्चुअली इफ यू लुक एट इट इन कुवलयानंद दिस इज एन एक्सापल ऑफ विशेष सामान्यन विशेष समर्थन बट ई एम टाकिंग अबउट लेट से डिफरेंट सिचुएशन वेर यू आर रईटिंग एन एस अबउट ग्रेट पीपल वेन यू आर टाकिंग अबउट द ग्रे क्वालिटी ऑफ ग्रेट पीपल एंड देन यू से नथिंग इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर ग्रेट पीपल सी हनुमान ऑलसो हनुमान अब्दीम अतरत so you are actually general uh, uh, justifying a general statement with a particular incident so both ways arthantara nyasa can happen is it clear which is arthantarena nyasaha kriyate you are placing something in perspective using another uh, uh, incident so here okay. how the property here is it uh, justification of what is being justified here prakritam is always being justified usually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. prakritam is about one single shurpanakha's uh, shurpanakha mm. vyavahara so what is the general thing narena manobhavah evam bhavati iti that is a generalization okay so okay so we have a general statement and it's just uh, so the atantaras only contains general statement yes whereas in the other example that you mentioned it actually contains the particular as supporting the general yeah okay got it okay hmm. so sa shurpanakha sita sannidhau sitaya ha samipe eva uh, uh, kathita anvaya samipe is more like nearby whereas sannidhi implies that it is in her presence that is she was present there and well attended by sita Uh, not that she was somewhere nearby iti nasti kathitanvaya swavamsham kirtayanti she spoke at length about her vamsha and whom she belonged to ramam vavre ramam vritavati she chose rama atyarudhah ati pravruddhah arudhah is uh, something which is climbed up to a, an atishaya state so ati pravruddha that which is uh, extremely grown narinam strinam manobhavah kamah it's an obsession take it as an obsession and not just uh, a mutual love akalagnya hi hi itukte in, indeed khalu uh, you supplement it with bhavati so samayagnya na bhavati hi shurpanaka sva vamsha khyatim swayameva kirtayanti she spoke at length about the fame of her own vamsha 
Sita samipe eva Ramam Britavati. She chose Sita is uh, Rama uh, in the presence of Sita. Idam Swabhavikam eva. This is, this is natural because Strinam hi Ati Pravridhaha Kamaha Samayagnatam Lopayati. Lopayati is it, uh, it removes the quality of knowing the proper time. Not only Strinam, it's because the context here is Shurpanakha. He is saying Narinam Mano Bhavaha. And furthermore, uh, just that it, it, women were, were uh, 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 spoken of as Dharmagnya more than men. Generally, women are supposed to uh, uphold the custom and culture and all that. So that is why he speaks about that. But men, though, they act very differently. It's like if uh, in the case of Ravana, he kidnapped her and went away. Here, at least she approached and asked him. You know, there was some sense of asking permission here uh, in the case of Shurpanaka, but Ravana just abducted Sita and went away. That's the difference between women's obsession and a man's obsession. Right? Yeah, yeah. Praya. I think uh, in those days, uh, in other kulams, they were probably more aware of whether the other person was reciprocating or not, right? I don't know. <laughs> so so usually in the in the noble families the there will be a sakhi or maybe the elders will come and do the swam, the vamshakyati right? yeah yeah but in this case she is doing it herself, herself. Ha. Mm. or there will be a duti who goes and ha. talks about it This now also we see them. Uh, I always uh, laugh at this. <laughs> you know, there is one uh, uh, Shiva, Shiva Dhuti Ite Ambayaha Nama Asti. Do you know that? Uh, Shiva Dhuti Shivankara Ite Lalita Sasar Nama Asti. Uh, correct, correct. Uh, uh, Shiva Dhuti Shivankara Ite. Because she sent Shiva as a Dhuta to Adhyare uh, uh, Shumba Nishumba no Illa Mahisha Sur no one of them. Uh, or oh. uh, in Devi Mahatnyam, she sends uh, Shiva as uh, a messenger. Uh, uh, he goes back and forth. So she is called Shiva Dhuti. Oh, okay. <laughs> he wants to marry Devi. Correct. Huh, and, huh. Right? So he sends a uh, Dhuta. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, reciprocation happens through Shiva. Uh, so she is called Shiva Dhuti. Mm -hmm. Or one of her Shakti who is called Shiva Dhuti. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was fully uh, was only with the uh, goddesses, right? Shiva was not even there. Huh, I think then some are there. Shiva Duti in a Piram. Shiva Duti in a Piram. Shiva Duti in a She is one of the Matrika. Hmm. And Shiva, I think she is uh, uh, one of the attendants of Shiva or something like that is there. Okay. The next one is a very interesting one. Kalatravan Ahambale Kaniyamsam Bhajaswame Iti Ramo Vrishasyantim Vrishaskandhaha Shashasa Tam. Now, when she approached Rama, Rama gives a very nice explanation. He says, Kalatravan Ahambale. See, I have my wife beside me. Aham Kalatravan. Kalatram Asi Asti iti Kalatravan Aham Bale. Not that I'm a married person or anything. My wife is present with me. Saha Vartate iti. Kani Amsam Bhajaswame. Go and ask my younger uh, uh, brother. He is also Kalatravan, no? but you will have to take it as my wife is present with me here, whereas his wife is not present with her, with him. Lakshmana, Urmila was in the palace. Urmila did not follow uh, uh, Lakshmana and she did not come here. So, Kalatravan, aham, he Bale, Bale, uh, uh, don't take it as uh, Bala, Kumari. That is, it doesn't mean the stages of uh, uh, a woman wherein she is a young girl, Andamari. This is more like Bala, iti. he probably treats her as a young girl. That's all. You're like a child. He, he doesn't give her value and says, uh, uh, you know, Shubhe, Varanane, Ityadi. He doesn't use adjectives like that to show that he is at least 
interested in her in a little bit but he uses the word bale he says you are you are asking me is a very chi- childish thing here so that's why he he addresses her as bale hey bale kalatravan aham don't you see i have my wife with me here kaniyamsam me kaniyamsam bhajasva go and ask my younger brother kaniyamsam one who is younger than me uh kaniyams uh, kaniyas word is formed with either alpa or yuva either of those you can form kani eason pratyaya comes there to show the comparative uh, 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 form that is younger so me kaniyamsam lakshmanam bhajasva go and ask him iti ramaha vrishaskandha ramaha tam vrishasyantin tam shashasa he ordered or spoke shashasa he advised her upadishta upadishtavan uh, uh, that she should go to lakshmana and not come to him because his wife is here iti ramah what is the adjective for rama here vrishaskandha one whose uh, shoulders are like that of an ox vrishah is an animal here so vrishabhah uh, vrishasya eva skandhah yasya or skandhau yasya one who has uh, uh, shoulders which are capable of uh, lifting any load like those of the ox which can bear a load so vrishaskandhah this is also um, a, a reminder that he is a male right he is he is also a, a male who can be attracted by Uh, uh any beautiful woman but then he is not attracted by shurpanaka here she is even though she comes in a very beautiful form still and he is also a male he is still uh, 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 who is got a very good physique and everything he is still not attracted towards her whereas she vrishasyanti this is a very peculiar word it is uh, vrisham vrisham uh, atmane ichchati so vrisha vrishasyanti ityukte purusham atmane ichchanti vrishah purusha narah one who has uh, sperms the literal meaning there it means shukralah athava vrishalah so vrishah vrishah means one who is uh, well endowed so tam atmane atmartham ichchati one who wishes to have a union with a man who is well endowed so that's the idea here so vrishasyan team tam he can understand the attitude with which shurpanaka is approaching uh, rama and so he says vrishasyan team tam shashasa he uh, advised her not to come to him but to go to lakshmana he could have been quiet here right he could have said sorry no and just rejected instead of that he sent her to lakshmana huh? passing the buck power adhe <laughs> da ரொம்ப ஃபுட்பால் ஆடினா ரெண்டு பேருமா சேர்ந்து <laughs> 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 that's what i feel i don't think he meant to be to have fun with her he is like le le nal mudiyadu ningu if you need someone okay right that is under guy <laughs> I, i still feel it was irresponsible and ramas part to say Probably. this so okay. <laughs> he could have avoided but then in looking at it from a macro level if he hadn't done this then ravana would never have come and there would never have been a battle it would have taken more years to fight him probably you yeah. know huh? or or he might have recognized that if he refuses her out flat uh-huh. then a, a lady who is shamelessly requesting like that she capable of anything uh-huh. and he's got sita uh-huh. by his side so he mm. diverts the the dangerous problem situation. to lakshmana la <laughs> lakshmana will take care he is right there to take care of all this stuff yeah so, he, he anyway uh, takes care of it at the end by cutting her <laughs> nose and everything So, so i think that's what happened there right? without mm. blaming anyone or saying that he did ball or anything but i think epo me in that place vandu ena kalidas also explains it like a nadi eva kula bhag ubhaya kula bhag adanal enak appo dhan thonum 
ஆத்மனேம் <laughs> kalatravan krita daraha that is i have taken a wife kritaha daraha yena saha one who has taken up wives me kaniyamsam anujam lakshmanam bhajasva prapnuhi bhajasva is go and ask him iti shashasa agyaptavan atmanam kamayantim shurpanakham prati ramaha abravit so uh, rama spoke to shurpanaka who was uh, who who wished for him atmanam ichantim kamayantim bale aham sadvitiyaha mad anujaha lakshmanaha tu advitiyaha tataha tam eva gacha iti ha ha okay so aham sadvitiyaha i have another person with me i have a second person with me mad anujaha lakshmanaha tu my brother lakshmana advitiya he doesn't have another person here with him tatah hence tameva gacha go towards him iti okay um ha kalatravan kalatram asya asti iti kaniyamsam ya kaniyamsam is kaniyan the i am anayoho atishayena yuva alpah okay anayoho ayam atishayena yuva atishayena alpah va when you have yuva this the comparative word for it when you have two people ayam yuva ayam api yuva tarhi anayoho ayam Atishayena yuva. This one person is younger than the other person. So you have two young people uh, or two small things, alpaha. The, then this person is younger than that person. This person is smaller than that person. Then you, with, for that comparative, you can use either taraha, uh, tarap pratyaya or you can use iyasun pratyaya. Uh, the other one is tamap pratyaya and ishtan pratyaya. Hmm? for alpa or yuva you can have kan aadesha when esun pratyaya comes in it is an optional form so which means you can have yaviyamsam or kaniyamsam both are right alpiyamsam or kaniyamsam both are correct it's an uh, un, uh, i think it is an optional because i've had alpiyas also alpishtah mm. ஜேஷ்டாபிகமனாத்பூர்வம்ந்தூத் ராம <laughs> he had no right to choose someone who had chosen his elder brother jeshta abhigamanat prathamatah jeshtam prati agachati ti karanat tena api lakshmanena api anabhinandita she was not accepted by lakshmana also now what what was her state sa punah bhuyah ramashraya abhut 
she again became someone who took shelter with rama rama ashraya abhuta that is she came back to rama and asked him the same thing so she first asked rama then she went to lakshmana lakshmana also rejected her now she came back to rama and said you have to accept me what was her state um, kalidasa describes it describes her as a nadi A, a, a river which is which goes in between two uh, tiram banks ubhaya kula bhag ubhayam kulam bhajati ya nadi sa ubhaya kula bhag uh, uh, she is like a river uh, who goes from one bank to another bank so there is no other recourse for her she has to go from either she splashes on this bank or she splashes on this bank actually the river is going straight see this is not an upama but this is like a vastu preksha if you uh, see uh, mallinatha's commentary he would just say nadi sadrishya that's all sadrishi esha ityeva vadati he doesn't clearly say whether it is upama or utpreksha but uh, narayan pandita takes this as utpreksha the reason is because ubhaya ubhayam kulam bhajati nadi bhajati ityukte gachati or prapnavati a nadi which goes from one bank to another bank the flow of the nadi or the direction of the nadi is not to go from one bank to the another another bank its flow is actually perpendicular to this uh, or parallel to the bank it is not the this movement but it is a straight movement parallel to the bank whereas he is describing a nadi as moving from one bank to another bank right so it is a fancied uh, 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 comparison so it is called utpreksha here is it clear it because it's not that. zigzag ha huh. nadi does not move like this hmm. <laughs> It yeah it's straight. very clear now yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah thank you <laughs> madhi if hypothetically if she had gone to lakshmana first then how can he reject her what is the re- way to reject her ha uh, he would say when my brother is present how can i accept someone without his permission so i have to go and ask his permission so go <laughs> and how can he come now same reason rama can give you went to lakshmana first i mean yes of course எங்க இருந்தாலுமே அவ மாட்டினா அவ்வளவுதான் and the rains come and suddenly the waters come down in great flood kama turasa mm. now the water goes to first one side it's not exactly in the middle it goes to the one side it hits the bank then it can't climb up one then it kind of makes a zigzag and hits mm. the other bank and then kind of like a river in flood you can see that happening sometimes when the yeah 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 it is mm. uh, that's possible Yeah, if, uh, when when there is a in the kaveri la on the first uh, dry bank uh-huh. arkar so when the water just rushes uh-huh. in uh-huh. that's what happens it actually uh-huh. keeps moving from this way and that way right. so she is kamatura she is in that vegam she is coming down suddenly and then mm. is uh, behaving like that yeah, yeah that uh, then you can have to call it as upama there <laughs> <laughs> yeah then okay purvam பிரதமம் பிரதமத ஜேஷ்ட அபிகமனாத் ஜேஷ்டம் பிரத்யேவ கமனாத் பிகாஸ் ஷி வென் டு தி ஓல்டர் பர்சன் தேன லக்ஷ்மணேனாபி ஜேஷ்ட ஹியர் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஈஷ்டன் பிரத்யய வி சா ஈயசுன் பிரத்யய இன் த லாஸ்ட் ஸ்லோக ரைட் சோ ஹியர் இட் இஸ் ஜேஷ்ட ஷுட் பி எதோடுது குரு ஜாயன் அது வந்து இயேசுன் பிரத்யய ஜாயன் 
ओके तेन लक्ष्मणेन अनभिनंदिता अनंगीकृता भूयः पुनः रामाश्रया रामम आश्रितवती सा राक्षसी शूर्पणखा उभयकूल भाक् पर्यायेण पर्यायेण वन आफ्टर दि अदर क्रमेण कूलद्वय गामिनी वन हू गोज फ्रम वन कूलम टू अनदर कूलम नदी इव अभूत सो पूर्व राम अभिगमनमे हेतु कृत्वा मेकिंग दैट इट से रीजन दट शी वेट टू राम फस्ट लक्ष्मण शूर्पणखा न अंगी चकार ई डि नाट एक्सेप्ट शूर्पणखा पुनः सा राक्षसी राममे अभिजगाम शी अगेन वेट टू राम एवं सा राम लक्ष्मण प्रति अथ तस्म प्रति तस्मे लक्ष्मण राम प्रति यात आयाताभ्यात गोयिंग आयात कमिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दीज पर्यायेण यात आयाताभ्यायेण बिकॉज ऑफ द क्रम ऑफ गोयिंग एंड कमिंग शी लुक्ड लाइक उभयकूल गामिनी नदी इव अभूत उभय कूल भजती उभय कूल यू कांट हेव इट इन द्विवचन आक्चुअली इट हेज टू बी इन सिंग्युर् और बहुवचन उभय शुड बी ओनली इन सिंग्युर् ज्येष्ठाभिगमना पूर्व तेना अनभिनंदिता साभूद रामाश्रया भूय नदी उभय कूल भाक्म 